Hey, gamers! Let's load this file. Let's load this file, gamers. They said it couldn't be done. But we've done it. Yeah, the day off from school. Wait on Naoto's recovery. Buy something from the shopping program. Let's see. Garbage. Let's go for Soma. Pretty sure those are useful. Alright, so what are my options for today? Spent with Marie, spent with Soma. Got for me. Garbo. Can I even? I'm hanging out with you whether you want me to or not. Oh, yeah, I do. Oops. You have someone of death, right? Samael Mixter Chan <laughs> I'm no good Said I didn't want to see you And yet part of me was hoping that you would come anyway I'm happy that you did If it's alright with you Shall we talk? Fuck you old lady Nah no, let's hang out with yes. her Yes I'd be happy to I was half expecting you to come, and half thinking you'd, that you'd given up. <laughs> Being noncommittal, floating around, never deciding to be one thing nor, the, uh, nor another. Can a man understand that? I get it. Mm -hmm. I see. I suppose this kind of feeling isn't gender specific. She smiles cheerfully. I just remembered something. Before we were married, you remember that my husband and I could only meet once a year, yes? So we exchanged letters all the time. I'd wait by the mailbox every day, wondering when his next letter would arrive. The days one came would fill me with joy, but I also felt that reading it immediately would be wasteful. But I wanted to write my reply so badly, so I would go grow impatient and read it carefully, over and over. Letters? How inconvenient. Fucking text, old lady. What were they about? <laughs> Do you know, I've forgotten after all this time. Haha. <laughs> she smiles. When you find yourself somebody to love, try writing a letter for them. Just one line can convey so much more of your feelings than a hundred speeches. She smiles nostalgically. Feel some of the loneliness she is bearing. Wow. But you know what? I've lost the letters he'd send me. I thought I kept them in a safe place. Well, I suppose I don't need them anymore anyway. She looks sad. If you're having those letters again, would cheer her up. I'll see you again. Fucking maybe. What am I supposed to do about that? Welcome back. Nothing to do outside. No one to hang out with. Kukiko. 
Pretty max out with you, Chie. Chie, Chie, Chie. Am I maxed out with you yet? I believe I am. Yes. Yes, we are maxed out. Good evening. Um, let's hang out with Yukiko. <laughs> yeah, 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 you wanted to chat with me. Um... That reminds me, did you have fun? Did you, you all have fun on the second day of the school trip? I apparently fell asleep pretty fast, so I don't remember anything about it. We say chan rented that place out for us. I feel bad for wasting a great opportunity. Hey, about that night, what happened? Played the king's game. Huh? Huh? You played the king's game? Aw, oh, that sounds like fun. Doubt anyone in our group would make any weird demands, so I could have played it without worrying too much. She seems to remember nothing. That was my first time going to a club, but I don't... But I really feel I got that night out on the town experience. Uh, I almost felt like an adult. You had fun too, didn't you? You enjoyed your idle chat. Huh? Um, alright, yeah, she said the same thing last time. Good night. Alright. Today's Respect for the Aged Day. Go outside. Mr. Chan, wonder where my husband's letters are. Whatever happened to them? When he died, I cleared out the storehouse. Did I sell them along with everything else? She looks sad. So I need to find the letters. Okay. Um... Don't happen to have a bunch of old ladies' letters, huh? Do you? What about you, store? I just bought a bunch of antiques from an estate sale by a woman who lost her husband. Found these strange letters in, the, in with what I bought. They're love letters, don't you think it's strange? Throwing them away is a bit cold, and returning them to the owner is also kind of an admission of reading them. These the letters that Hisano told you about before? You ask Daidara for the letters. Well that's fucking convenient! That's pretty fucking convenient. My. Hi, Mixer Chan. I'm happy to see you. Yes. My. Hi, Mixer Chan. Those are. Show the letters from her husband. My. Letters from my husband? How? Told her they were a Daidara. My, my! Oh my, it must have been when he came to collect the contents of the storehouse. So that's where I kept the letters. 
Thank you, Mr. Chan, from the bottom of this old woman's heart. I'm so happy. She's happy. But I'm going to burn them. I'll go get some matches. Okay. She's going to burn them. What should you do? Wait. So quote written on a postcard. I don't want to fucking read someone else's mail. That's a crime. The wooden wall frame. I was once shorter than it. I have outgrown it in the time that we have been kept apart. That's all the postcard says. Another postcard has a short composition on it. I want to see you so much. How much sky, earth, and water do my words have to run through on and over to reach you, my dear Hisa-san. How I wish I was this postcard. Isn't that just so sad? He had no idea he was being deceived. I'm sure he never imagined that someday that Hisa-san he loved would wish to see him dead. What do you mean? He was a kind, honest, and loyal man. He fell ill and became bedridden. I had to work to support our family. He would always apologize to me for failing as a husband. When he did, he would smile so sadly. His illness worsened and he must have been scared. He began to take his fear and frustration out on me. The man who had been so kind. But that didn't bother me at all. I had agreed that I would work and take care of him the day we were wed, in sickness and in health. But he forgot. He forgot who I was, and he forgot all about me. I couldn't bring myself to love him. I couldn't forgive the way he would look at me with such confusion in his eyes. And when I cried, he would wipe my tears away like the man he had been all those years ago. I couldn't forgive that. I couldn't bear that, that stranger in his body, stealing his mind day after day. When he slept, I tried to kill him, but I couldn't. While I was standing over him, he looked up and he smiled at me. The same smile that he gave when I was a girl. And in the same voice he would use to tell me he loved me, he asked, Who are you, ma'am? Oof. That was three years ago. After that day, he would forget who I was every morning. Every day he would ask me, who are you? And every day I would answer, who am I today? I was a total stranger to him until the very end. He was being cared for by a stranger as he passed away. That was his punishment, punishment for forgetting me. That must have been tough. I was relieved. Before I could feel anything else, I felt relief. Relief that it was finally over for both of us. It was then that I realized I had been wanting him to die. And because I wished it, he left this world and went to the gods. I am death itself. She smiles sadly. I feel you understand him a bit more. Yeah, I'd say. Damn. That got heavy. Please, throw the letters away. I can't bear to see them anymore. I don't want to touch them anymore. I'm sorry. You weren't able to give back the letters. Perhaps you should speak with the owner of Dido. 
Why? Welcome back. Harvest vegetables. Oh. You fuck. Store's closed for the day. Um, I haven't yet maxed out Kanji. Senpai. It's starting to cool down at friggin' last. Oh yeah, I want to talk for a while? I'm bored as hell right now. He seems bored as hell right now. You might appreciate if you talked with him. Yeah! <laughs> School trip was fun, despite, you know, the stuff that happened. By the way, did you get any souvenirs for your family? I got a Japanese red pine bonsai. I thought it'd go nice in my mom's room. Her thoughtful son. Well... You, you think so? That wasn't what I was going for or anything. He seems embarrassed. My mom keeps telling me to quit treating her like an old lady, even though she's obviously an old hag already. But then she seemed like to like what I got her, so I'm glad for that. <laughs> you enjoyed your chat. Whoa! Damn, look at the time. Sorry for keeping you out here with me. Oh yeah, you want some of this? I can't get enough of the stuff. I want you to have this, senpai. Well, catch you later. Later, senpai. Good afternoon! As I'm sure you all know, yesterday was Respect for the Age Day. And do you all take good care of your elders? I sure did. My grandmother is over 90, but she still gets out and sweats by playing gate ball. I just know she's going to live over 100 years. Heck, she's almost there. I wish her the best to reach 100. Oh, casual, you're a city boy. You might know this. What do you call someone who's beaten 90 who's between 90 to 100 years old. Nonagenarian. Well, I'm amazed by that brain of yours, Mixer. Are you close to your grandparents? Nonagenarian is someone in their 90s. Learned that from Mr. Ho Hosoi. Interesting, huh? Say, why don't we practice skateball so you'll be able to play it with your elders? Sports club and now key. My controller being dumb. Hello? There we go. Sorry, I might be drinking more today than normal. My throat feels kind of weird. And my stomach feels kind of weird. So this is ginger ale. No more ads for a month now. 
Hell yeah, no more ads. Thank you for the subscription. Is it ready to advance? Sure. <laughs> Play the trumpet like a fucking loser. You son of a bitch. Go to tutoring. You tutor. Get a hundo box. Senpai! Are you busy after class today? I'd like to do something. Think about it, okay? You should hang out with Kanji. Always good advice. Hanging out with Kanji. Thank you for the donation. It's greatly helpful. Seriously, immensely helpful and greatly appreciated. Yeah. All right. I feel your relationship with Kanji is going to become closer soon. Yeah. Spend time with Kanji. So now, about we go for some food. Chie Senpai says the steak ball here is great. <laughs> and hey, she's the expert. You're Kanji Tatsumi, right? I'd like to have a word with you. Huh? Huh? Yeah, well, I wouldn't. Come with me. Kanji didn't do anything. Senpai. Kanji looks happy. Ah, you're that kid Tatsumi's been hanging out with lately. I see, so you're in cahoots. That's right, punk! So what if we hang out? What's it to you? Oh, well, there's a group of teenage bullies lurking around here, don't you? We got a tip saying you've been threatening a child at the hill in the floodplain. Threatening? Child? Oh, him. Hmm, so you admit it. Not a shred of remorse, either. It's just a misunderstanding. Oh, so tell me, what was he doing? Er, that's... Kanji's hesitant to say. You two are going to have to come with us down to the station. Quit it! No, wait a sec. Senpai has nothing to do with this. Oh, mister, what are you doing? You know these boys, kid? Can you tell me how you know them? I don't think they're being straight with me. Hey! The hell are you telling that kid? You call yourself a cop? Did this boy ask you for anything? For instance, did he claim he lost his money? You lost your money, mister? You can have some of mine. 
Just as I thought. That ain't... Oh, but I came to give you the cookies my mom baked as thanks. I was going to sneak in and leave them at Tatsumi Textiles, but here you are. Thanks? Thanks for what? He made me a bunch of dolls, like a bunny and a cat. He's real good. Dolls? And you're saying Tatsumi made them? What a load of... There's no way you're getting me to believe that. Truth is the truth. <laughs> it's cool, senpai. This is my problem. He has a determined look on his face. Alright, listen up, punks. There ain't any lying about it. I made the kids some dolls. What with the ones... Well, with the ones for his friends and his mom, it was eight all told. And let me warn you, they're so cute, they'll instantly- They'll give you diabetes, the instantly fatal kind. So what, you want me to teach you how to make them? Huh? What? You about to say that ain't like me, right? Go ahead and laugh, damn it. Like I care, I'm used to being pointed at. And what's most important, I ain't gonna make this kid or senpai a liar. Hey you, that button's falling off. I'm gonna sew it back on, you hear? Sew it. Sew it back on. Not sew it. Officer, what are you doing with my kanji? Oh, well ma'am, there's been several cases of bullying around here, so... Kanji has nothing to do with them. Mom, he would never do such a thing. He may be stupid and short-tempered, but he's a strong and gentle child. Why, just the other day, he showed me his dolls, and he told me I can put them up for sale. You, you old bag, what are you saying? We apologize, if you'll excuse us. Fucking cops. Mom, you'd believe me over the police? A cab, son. A cab. You would never do such a thing. A mother knows. I need to prepare dinner now. Don't go stuffing yourself at Aya before coming home. I. Mister, are you crying? No, no. I ain't crying. This is snot. I got a cold. You want to catch it, huh? Kanji seems to have grown. Your relationship deepens. Senpai, I think I am getting a sore throat with my cold. Damn it, my nose won't stop running. Thanks. Wait for some Kanji to calm down and went home. He didn't even get the beef bowl. Oh, welcome home, big bro. That's just what a murderer would say, Nanako. The murderer. Oops. That's not what I wanted. Oh. Hello? I received a text message. It's from Yukiko. Do you like scary movies? There's this new horror out called One Missed Text. I don't think anyone wants to go with me, but I don't want to see it alone. If you want to see it, call me, please. No. Fuck.
Work at the hospital. Everything's creepy. Everything's spooky. You gain courage. She's a creep. Cool. Learn 80 bucks. Senpai! Are you gonna be free when class is over? I wanna hang out. Think about it, okay? Senpai! I just wanted to remind you that we have practice today. There's something I want to give you, so please come. Maybe you should drop by the music room. As much as I'd prefer to hang out with Kanji, I can finish up a whole social link and be done with it. This trombone is playing a beautiful harmony. Bayane, you sounded great today. Huh? Really? Yeah, I total—I got totally lost in your solo. You've been working hard, and it sounds like it's really paying off. Your tone is much better than before, and if I didn't know better, I'd say you're actually enjoying it now. Thank you very much! That reminds me, I've been thinking of getting us a manager. You've done a lot for us, Ayane, but it's about time you moved on. Huh? Um, you mean you don't need me anymore? What? Er, no, you've got the wrong idea. I like doing those things. Cleaning, balancing the budget, setting up our performances. I thought I was helping out. Uh, listen, what I mean is, you've done a great job. I just think we've been too reliant on you. You're an able musician now, and we wouldn't, shouldn't be making you do all the grunt work by yourself. Captain. Well, uh, okay. That's that. That's a wrap for today, guys. We're done. Go on. Go home. <laughs> wow, that was great news. It's like I'm a different person now. This might be the first time I've actually liked myself. It's all because I met you. Um, here, take this. She put something in your hand. Obtained handmade ticket. Reads Ayane Matsunaga in concert. Date TBA. So tell him laugh, okay? She's laughing awkwardly. That that's proof of my determination. I figured it was time to grab a hold of my dream. Always using the word if when I talk about my music reaching someone. But from now on, it's gonna be when. To really make it happen though, I know I have to keep trying. I can't just look at the, the other way anymore. I made this for you because, um, you're the one who taught me all those things. I'm going to keep playing my best so that someday you'll be able to hear my music for real. She's looking up with you with admiration in her eyes. And the social link is maxed.
I hope I can help you like you helped me, senpai. If there's ever a time when you're in trouble, like maybe you lose sight of who you really are the way I did. Please think about me. Think about how I was able to muster up my courage. I'll always be rooting for you. She nods firmly. Senpai. You passed some special time with Ayane. You're back. Uh, which thing should I do? Heads, tutor, tails, devil. Heads. About this. Is this going to show up on any tests? If it is, I want to know a way to memorize it. You, you explain stuff. I've got a big test coming up. It's going to cover a lot of material. Oh, well, I'll be at the head of the class this time, too. I won't lose. I will not lose. Shu looks anxious, despite what he said. Mister! Hey! Getting good grades, being great at sports, being fun to talk to, and good looking. Is it possible for anyone to be all those things? Do you know anyone like that? This guy! You mean yourself? You're really full of yourself, aren't you? <laughs> Teach me your ways. I've been having this dream lately. In my dream, I'm on a train. Keeps speeding up, but I don't know where the tracks lead. There are no exits, so I can't get out. There's someone coming from the car behind me. I can hear the doors opening and the footsteps. I don't know who it is, and I get scared. Every time I have that dream, the person gets one car closer to me. Must be possessed. Must be tired. Probably. The only time I get rest is when I'm sleeping. Yeah. And I can't even do that right now. I want to be free. His face is pale. If I'm not at my best looks tormented. Uh, what are you worried about? Nothing. Nothing is bothering me. Seems unwilling to talk about it. I don't want to be hated. Please, come back again. He looks helpless. He's opening up to you. I feel like I'll be able to sleep well tonight. Good night. Mister. Got a hundred bucks. Hundo buckos. Um, today is the autumnal equinox. What do people do? Spent with a dachi! Go outside. You. What do you have? Never mind. Go into town. You oh. son of a fuck. Huh? Oh, it's you. You saved me. Wanna talk? It'll look more like I'm invested. Uh, er, forget that. Seems Adachi is slacking off. We should present ready to advance. <laughs> uh, good for you. That's the spirit. Went shopping with Adachi. You wasted a day with Adachi.
Tachi. Oh. Oops. Busily clean the room. Spooky. Hey, you, you can stop cleaning here. We're going to be needing this room, so can you get all your cleaning supplies out of here? This time of night? Uehara san, one of the nurses, just collapsed. She needs to rest, but the doctors on break are using the lounge, so... She seems overworked. Uh, don't tell anyone I said that, okay? I'd rather not get hauled in for a review. Review. Uh. Here, help me. Nurse laid Sayoko down on the bed and injected her with a syringe. Uh. She didn't have to do that. I was just a little wobbly. It's important to rest. And what if there's no time to rest? There's always work waiting for me. I'm lucky they didn't tie me down with an IV. I'm all right now. I'll be going. Seems Sayoko is set on continuing to work. What should you do? Physician, heal thyself. Huh? Sh shut up. I mean, I might be able to save someone's life. I need to do what I can. I can't spend time worrying about myself. Otherwise, I'd never be able to face him again. You're just running away. You think I'm hiding from my problem? No, I looked right into the situation and decided I need to do what I can. Right into it. Oh, I see. I... I was doing it for myself. I wanted to escape the pain. I was working hard to avoid feeling anything at all. I see that now. Haha, <laughs> 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 I'm so stupid. She seems to be holding back tears. I get it. Yeah, I get it. Thank you. She tries to smile. Feel as if you were able to give her some support. I'm going to rest for a little while longer. You can go now. Don't look at me. You left Sayako and went home. Got 80 smackaroonies. I guess I'll talk about the history of mathematics in Japan then. Japan originally developed its own mathematics called Wasan that originally crossed over from China. Wasan, by the Ed Edo period, developed so much that they could calculate 41 digits of pi. At the height of Wasan's popularity, in the Edo period, a book came out titled Math Girl. I guess it must have been... There must have been math nerdettes back then, too. But it was just a drill book written by a girl. I was a bit of a nerdette back in my youth, too. I'm just a boring housewife now. Time is cruel. Even Wasan has disappeared. Trying to make money the right way feels stup so stupid. Uh, anyway, let's pr move on to the workbook. Oh, look, more practice problems. Listen to lecture. Uh... 
Let's hang out with Ray. I need to hang out with her more. Huh? Oh, you're here today. Hey, I have somewhere I want to go today. Said not Let's really. Go. Spent some time with her. I love her fashion. I love her style. It's so good. Welcome back. I just got a call from the school. Shoo! It's not true, is it? Shoo, it's a lie, right? Shoo! Look at me! Shoo! It's true. Shoo! I'm sorry. Please go home today. I'm sorry. Shoo's voice is trembling. Shoo, what's going on? I... Go home, please. Go home! Looks like you should just go home today. You go home. What happened with Shoo? I'll never know. Wanna go shopping with me today? I'm in the mood to buy something. Um... I'll pass. Oh. Bye then. Jan. She seems distracted. Must be because you showed her the letters. You should speak with the owner of Diana. Why? You came at a good time. Do you remember those letters I gave you before? Well, I found more of them. If you want these too, you're more than welcome to them. What? Detective Prince? That's a goofy name, isn't it? Prince? Something more... Something with more of an edge would be better. Detective General? Yeah. Anyway, what does that have to do with my art? Nothing? Why are you bothering me for that? surprised about something yes I would like to talk she seems to have regained her composure my those are the letters I sent to my husband he told her that you had found these at Daidara as well is that so so he'd been keeping my letters in the storehouse as well <laughs> we thought alike 
I need to throw these away as well. First, can you let me read them? She began reading a letter. We compared our hair. Now it reaches my shoulders. If not you, then who will tie it up for me when it becomes necessary? The path you left on has long been buried by fallen leaves. Will I be able to meet you again when the cherry blossoms bloom and the cicadas buzz? Each day grows brighter. I can feel you coming closer, step by step. I wrote this decades ago, but who knew that I would become death? She began reading the next letter. That poem you sent me was from Ise the Issei, wasn't it? It's fitting, as I'm waiting for here for you. But I wish I could just spring away from here and run into your arms. It would be an adventure to search for the cowry of the swallows in order to win your heart. If I could transform my heart into the wind and make it rush to your side, would you take it into your hand? I loved him this much. And because I loved him, it saddened me that he forgot my love. I was miserable and jealous. I was a fool. I was left behind because I was such a fool. He... he was all I, that I had. Now he's gone. I must accept that. Take your time. <laughs> You're right. But can I do it? She smiles through her tears. You've touched her heart. Thank you. <laughs> if it's okay with you, I'd like to see you again. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. You're back. Vegetables. Jima, grab a fucking shovel and help. Well, okay. Uh, is there no one to hang out with? Only people have already maxed out, huh? What's my current fox quest? I think we should think fear cats. Good evening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See if there's anything new she says. Um. One of the things our inn takes pride in is the cuisine we serve using seasonal ingredients. We all present our ideas, then the head chef tries making them. We don't have recipes for him yet. We don't have re the recipes for him. Yet he makes delicious meals from our ideas, one after another. It's almost like magic. I wonder if I should attempt some freestyle cuisine too. Going to make a weapon? I'll root for you. Thank you. I feel I can do anything with you cheering me on. <sighs> it's strange, you know? Hard to believe I can take so much strength from having someone to love. Aww. I think I'll start my freestyle cuisine experiments with autumn ingredients. 
I'll only use ingredients that are in season now. So, um, eggplant? I could also use mushrooms, chestnuts. Oh, sorry would be good too. Grapes might not work, huh? Enjoyed an idle chat. Love marshmallow, huh? Good night. Sounds like a euphemism for something I don't want to know. Really? Is there no one? Is there nothing? Ah, Sensei, I'm scared. There's something scary. My teddy sense is detecting danger. It's red alert. But it's almost time for work and I can't leave without passing through here. Ah, what should I do? Give it everything you've got. All right, I won't hold back an inch. Wait, so what am I supposed to do? I still don't get it. Man, this feels worse than a shadow. How awful. It's, it's her. Teehee, now, now, come over here. There's no need to be shy. You're not getting away from me today. There's really fucking nothing to do, huh? Really nothing to do, huh? God, it's a good thunder sound. Love me a good thunderstorm. Waste that time slot. Welcome back. Open the fridge. There's a variety of stuff. You can make lunch tomorrow. Surprisingly, you have the ingredients to make marinated spinach. Boiled the spinach. What should you do with the hot spinach? Um. Persona for golden marinated spinach. Strain it. That's what my guess was going to be. Just have to coat it with the sesame seed paste to finish it. it came out perfectly. It looks delicious. Tain fresh marinated spinach. Neat. Ding dong for that. Oh, senpai. Just what I needed. She forced herself under your umbrella. Gee. Sheesh, this wind. I just bought a new umbrella and it's already broken. I guess there was a silver lining. Hey, senpai, if you don't hand huddle in a little closer, your shoulder will get wet. Sexier when I'm soaked. Huh? 
Whoa, I can't believe you actually said that. Maybe you shouldn't say something like that in front of other people. I think it might creep them out. Oh, this humidity is ruining my hair. It's taken some abuse from all the magazine photo shoots I've been in, so it's a little fragile. Stuff together. This stuff's awesome. My own mom can't cook this well. Mind making my school lunches? Enjoyed your lunch. Your relationship will become closer soon. Like now. Yo. Yeah. Yeah! The hell overlooking town. Kanji brought you here, saying you wanted some place he wanted to talk someplace quiet. The other day I, I went to visit Dad's grave. It's the first time I went on my own. I had a lot to tell him. How was it? How was it? I well, don't Felt like I could finally face him. A little late, though. <laughs> He's smiling sadly. Dad told me something right before he died. If you're a man, you have to become strong. Felt like he was telling me I wasn't a real man. Pissed me off. So I changed my looks and pushed myself away from people. Fighting gangs, thinking I was protecting mom, trying to catch this killer. I thought all that was how I was becoming strong. That I was really making up for all the trouble I caused. I was drunk off my power. But that wasn't it. That ain't what Dad meant. I still don't really get what being strong means, but I'm going to start by not lying to myself. No more being scared of everyone, hiding my hobbies, staying away from people. Anytime, any place, I'm going to bust right through as my own self. That's oh, yeah, the way bud. to deal with that other me in the TV world. As long as there's someone like that snot-nosed kid to accept me, I ain't afraid of nothing. Oh yeah, good for you. Sir, it's all thanks to you. Felt Kanji's firm resolve. And yet, still not maxed out. Oh yeah, I'm gonna put those dolls of mine up for sale at the shop. They were big hit with that kid and his mom. They called me just to say thank you. <laughs> I got a kick out of that. Oh, I gotta go buy supplies. I need a jet. Parted with Kanji and went home. I guess parted from Kanji? It's a tutor today, huh? Wait, no. Adachi, I hate you. Um, I'm. I'm sorry about what happened last time. It got kind of ugly. She says nothing for a while. The awkward silence continues. Hmm? Today's date is circled on the calendar. Oh, that's right. Today is my birthday. I forgot. Happy birthday. There's nothing to be happy about. He looks ready to cry. 
Mom forgot it too. She's not even here. He looks sad. Have a modest celebration. Decide to throw a birthday party for show. First you need... Guests. You need to get guests. Call Yosuke. Yo, what's up? You explain the situation to Yosuke. I get it. Well, I can see why you'd want to help the kid out. Leave it to me. I'll t Just text me the address and I'll find directions to his house later. I won't be long, okay? Huh? What? Decide to wait for Yosuke to arrive. She was in total shock. <laughs> I called the whole gang. It's cool, right? You're going to have a small celebration, but Yosuke invited everyone. Sheesh. Yosuke just called us up out of nowhere, you know? He was all, me to set you next. I was worried there for a moment. <laughs> but a surprise party like this is the kind of surprise I like. Yes. Me too. But we have to start this off right with a song. They sing the happy birthday song. She was so in shock. Come on, now for the candles. Blow them out. Huh? But... <laughs> if you don't hurry, you'll end up with a wax flavored cake. And no one wants that. Come on now, blow. Oh, okay. One... Two? She takes a deep breath. <coughs> Whoa, it got dark. The lights. Hit the lights. Hey, who did that? It's not me. Heck, no kicking. <coughs> huh? Isn't the switch somewhere around here? <coughs> Oof. Ah. <coughs> 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 I'm sorry, I'll get the switch. Oh no, it's my fault, huh? Is this your face? Yes! Let go of my nose! I'm sorry! sorry. I'll just sit back down. Ah! Oh, you're stepping on me! Ah. Sorry, wait, where am I? Shoo, Shukiko, let me handle this. Ah. Bye! Oh, uh, right in the solar plexus. Everyone just sit down. Make sure you get the lights. Is the cake okay? You kidding? That's the first thing you ask about? Well, let's put this whole mess behind us. Happy birthday. Thank you. So how old are you? Uh, er, 13. I mean 14. Wow, that's young. Man, it must be great being in the prime of one's youth. Um, you're not exactly an old lady. But, um, Shukun, your life is only beginning here. She smiles gently at Shu. Oh, yes. And man, you have no idea when to turn on the cute. I mean, it's nothing. It's just it's just the day I was born. Yup, it's time for a celebration. It's a reason to be happy. Should I have been born? Shu mumbles to himself. Stupid. 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 She was surprised. Of course you should have. She was surprised. Ah, yeah. <laughs> All right, now for the cake. Yes, let's all have a slice. 
Party livened up. It's getting late, so everyone went home. Um, thank you. I... He cries. I... I was suspended from school. I'm sorry, Sensei. I cheated. I was so worried about the test. If I wasn't number one, I thought... But there's no point in anything if I'm not the best. It's all I can be. If I'm not, Mom won't love me anymore. Mom asked me why I did it. She said she was betrayed, embarrassed. She said I'm not her son. She was crying. She, he begins to sob. Sue them. I... I'm sorry. Huh. <sighs> when I was able to write my name for the first time, Mom praised me. She would tell anyone who would listen that I was a genius. So I did my best. I studied all the time so I could live up to her expectations. So that she w people would accept that mom could raise a child on her own. I always had to be number one. But then he, that transfer student, came along. The school he came from was ahead of us. And he always got perfect scores on the tests. Plus, he's good at sports, good at talking to people. He became the best in everyone's eyes, and they all started laughing at me. I know that all I'm good at is studying, but now I don't even have that. Studying all day, no clubs, no friends. What do I have left? I don't have anything. I'm nothing if I'm not number one. If everyone... I... If even mom gives up on me... I'm scared. Cheating was the only option I had. That's what I thought. So I... Sorry. I'm sorry. Ian's crying again. Kindly reason with them. He gently explained to Shu that he should never do it again. Yes, I won't ever do it again. He's He seems to understand. It's mom. It's mom. She's back. I... I'll go talk with her. Thank you, mister. Shu tries to get his emotions under control. Feel your relationship has grown deeper. Come back again. I'll do my best. Left Shoe's house and went home. We didn't get any fucking cash this time. Senpai! You're not doing anything later today, are you? Are you? We spend the day with Kanji. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Let's meet up at your place, okay? We've got a lot of stuff to bring. And it turned out that she was actually a robot. That's important. I recommend you memorize that. The context. Oh man, I'm so hungry. Did you all eat? I had a big meal, but I'm still hungry. Should have eaten an apple for dessert. No, two. No, three. While we're on the subject of apples, part of the human body has an apple in it. Anybody know? Hey, Hanamura, give, give me a wild guess. You might surprise yourself. Huh? I don't want to guess. Just tell us already. Hey, Mixer, do you know the answer? Bro. Good on you, Hanamura. The Adam's apple or laryn laryngeal prominence is part of the human throat. It's a funny. Is that a funny name? It comes from the biblical story of Adam. He got a piece of the infamous apple stuck in his throat. What a wimp! He couldn't even swallow the apple whole. Oh. I forget what my Yosuke voice was. I can't. I can't do a good Yosuke right now. Wow! Thanks, Mixer. 
You were a great help. Yosuke appreciates it. Points that don't matter have gone up. Your room. You brought Kanji here at his insistence. Sorry for barging in like this. I thought it'd be a good place. Oh, first though, there's one more thing I figured out. Rise stopped by our store the other day. She said the dolls were cute, so I told her I made them. Then she said that was creepy. Kind of stung, but I kept on showing her the other stuff I made. And in the end, she said, maybe you're an amazing guy after all. Pissed me off the way she said it, but that aside, I get it now. This is what he was talking about. Just been throwing in the towel all this time. Of course no one could understand me. I've been keeping my distance out of fear. Yeah, bud. So I decided that I'd do things my way, no matter how tough. But it ain't just about hanging out with guys who understand you and telling the rest to get bent. You gotta make an effort if you want people to understand you. I wasn't even trying. That's true. You do gotta do Not that. just about my hobby, but like, when the police suspected me, it didn't even cross my mind to try to tell them my story. I let them think whatever they want. And because of that, you, Ma, and that kid all got dragged into it. I mean, talking to cops is never any useful. Because they're cops. They'll believe what they want to believe and do what they want to do because they're cops and a cab. I didn't put in the slightest effort to try and make them understand. It's easier for me to act tough. He's smiling, Riley. So from now on, I got two rules. Rule one, be myself. Rule two, get people to understand me. I want you to have this, Senpai. Who obtained cute strap. This thing's me being me. Now I can say it straight out. Huh? That other me is me. <sighs> Kanji's strong will to allow him to accept and overcome his weakness has awakened his heart's true power. Kanji's persona has been reborn, transfigured into Rokuten Mao. This? For reals? I get it. So I've become a little stronger, huh? You're my hero, dude. And my best bud. You can sense Kanji's straightforward feelings. Feel a tight bond between you and Kanji. So as far as getting other people to understand me, today I'm holding the Oven Mitt Puppets 101 class right here. Don't worry, even you can do it. It'll be real cute. Believe me. Spend more time than you planned with Kanji. It's gotten dark, so you said goodbye to Kanji. Welcome back.
We clean, things are spooky. The stat that's already max goes up. Creepy lady shows up. Relationship is gonna be stronger soon. You get 80 bucks. Um, actually, from all of the beverages I've been having, I need to use the restroom, so I will be back in just a moment. And I'm back. Okay, what's on the docket today? Spent with kanji, spent with I, spring with Brise. Oh yeah, I can do sports. Hey, Mixer. Sorry, are you going to practice? Yeah, let's go. You do basketball. 
Ko doesn't look very motivated. Yo! Sup guys, wanna grab some grub on the way home? Huh? Is practice over already? Mine? Yeah, they're just clearing up. No, mine. <sighs> it's over, isn't it? I gotta go home. Hey Mixer, what's his problem? Is he sick or something? Something else. Hmm. Something else? What's wrong? You know, I'm pretty short for a basketball player. I guess? But it has its advantages. I always get a kick out of driving right past all the tall guys. Makes me feel good, like it's something I can do and no one else. Not my grandma, not my sister, it's all me. But what's the point? Who cares how hard I train? It's not like I we ever play any real games. It's totally worthless. It has no meaning whatsoever. Ko. You serious, man? I'm out. Later. What's up with him? You told us, Gabe, what Ko told you about, about the rooftop. You gotta be kidding. You should be celebrating that they let him play, not sulking. Hmm? Hmm. Aww. Damn it, I don't get any of this. But hang on, you said it was pointless, right? Because they don't play any real games? Well then, why don't we give him a real match? Sitting around here thinking about it won't do crap. We gotta take action, right? Gotta save Kyle. <laughs> save him? You don't have to make it sound so epic. It's kinda embarrassing. He smiles childishly. Anyway, where do we start with setting up a real game? Hmm, I got an idea. Hey, you! What's up, Daisuke? Did you switch over to the basketball team or something? Yeah, right. But listen, you guys are gonna have a real game, so pick a day and a team to play against. What? No way. Yes way. If you don't play, I'll tell the teachers all about the homework you're always copying. That's a little bad. Shut up. You better be ready too, cause it's gonna happen soon. You got that? Soon. Sleepy. I'm sleepy. I got the big sleepies. I got some dirt on some of the other guys too, so we should be have no problem getting together a full team. Quite the strategist. <laughs> hey, is that supposed to be a compliment? He laughs. Well, if we come up short, I'll play too. I don't really know the rules, but whatever, right? He laughs. You two plan a match for Ko's sake. Alright, next practice will be a real scrimmage. I'm gonna go recruit more people. Catch you later, man. See ya. Parted. Welcome back. again.
Well, thank you very much for what you did last time. My suspension wasn't very long. Having everyone stare having everyone staring at me hurt though. <laughs> it's my own fault. I need to change. He looks hopeful. Mom bought me a cake for my birthday. She said, I lost my temper and said terrible things to you, but I didn't mean any of it. I'll always be proud of you, dear. That's what she said. That's still bad. It's still bad. Don't lose your temper with your kid. I also told her why I cheated. About what I was thinking. About the transfer student not wanting her to hate me. And she said, let's start let's over. Let's start over. As a family. I always thought a family was something that's already there. That it's something finished. But it looks like you can try and start it over again. I wasn't paying attention to mom this whole time. Felt that if I wasn't the best, she'd look down on me. Because of that, I must have thought that I needed to be number one in order to be loved. But that wasn't true. It didn't matter. She'd loved me this whole time. He, oh, he holds back tears. Mister, thank you. I have to thank you, and your friends, too. Thank you for recognizing me. I wouldn't have been able to talk to Mom if you hadn't. I'm proud of you. <laughs> thank you. He smiles. About this. Obtain test results. I got this for getting the best score in a mock exam a while ago. I thought that this was my only bond with mom, but it wasn't something I can see. So please take it away until I can laugh at how I thought about it about myself. I cheated on a test, I got suspended, my permanent record must be a wreck. I've gone right off the rails leading into a good college and a good company. But I can see now that I don't have to be on a straight and narrow path. If I stayed on that rail, not thinking, not seeing anything except what was right in front of me, my life would have been empty. I'm going to think about my life and set my own path. I feel like my life is just beginning, not because I'm young. <laughs> because I just realized that. Shu laughs, embarrassed. Feel a tight bond between yourself and Shu. And now you'll never see him again. Shu's persona has evolved. I have a favor to ask of you. Starting today, I want to stop the tutoring, I mean. I was thinking of joining a club. Um, the baseball team. I've never played baseball before, but I've always wanted to. I don't really know the rules, though. He laughs like a child. I only had my studies. I had to be number one. That's what I thought all the, this time. But if I think that, then I'll never have anything. So I want to try a bunch of things. Sorry, but please let me quit. We can play baseball together sometime, though. Spend your last session as a tutor talking with Shu. Got a hundred bucks. The last hundred bucks. Senpai. Are you free today? There's somewhere I want to take you. Think about it, okay?
much as it pains me. Oh! Oh, it's you. You saved me. Wanna talk? <laughs> Are you really Dojima-san's nephew? You seem too fun to be around for that. Smiling mischievously. You sure have a lot of time on your hands. I feel like I keep seeing you around. But I guess that's what it's like for a high schooler. Enjoy it while you can. I'm busy enough, thanks. Huh? Oh really? Well, you can't be that busy. You're just a kid. You'll see when you're in the workforce. You'll have to talk to lonely old women. Hmm? Where did you go, Toru-chan? This is bad. Oh jeez, not again. Did she bring me more Nimono? I'm right here, Mother. Did you finish your shopping? I surely did. Let's go home. You're here for the first time in ages. I have to... Oh, why, hello, Detective. Toru-chan, this is Adachi-san. He's a police detective. Hello, I hear you've been good to my mother. This is Toru, my son. He's in town to see me. Ha <laughs> ha, well, I'm really here for my job. I have to go back in a few days, though. Don't make an old woman sad, dear, though it's good to know you're working hard. Toru-chan works at a trading company. He takes a lot of business trips overseas. So young and he's already a manager. Oh, come on, mother. We're probably getting in the way of his work. Let's go home, okay? Hear their conversation as they walk away. Going to make you lots of your favorite Nimona. That's great. Make sure the Rencon is a little tough. Of course, dear. Voices fade away. Guess it doesn't have to be me. So that's the real one. You don't look a thing like each other. We're not even close in age. I think the only thing we have in common is our name. But as long as he's here, I don't have to talk to her. So that's a relief. Good for you. <laughs> now I won't have to do all that overtime. I wish she'd move in with her son. I thought she's smiling. I like being alone. It's easy and it lets me do whatever I want. Doesn't it get lonely? <laughs> I never said it doesn't. I just said it was easier. I thought she is smiling. That son likes his Rencon though. Tough, huh? What is he thinking? <sighs> My own mother used to make Nimona with tough Rencon. I hated it then too. I was left on the plate and no one said anything. It's just too tough. She probably didn't know I didn't like it. Well, I'm glad that's off my chest for a while. He seems a bit sad. I feel you understand him a bit more. Do I? Hey. Adachi, so here's where you were. <sighs> Ah, Dojima-san. Hmm. Oh, it's you. Don't waste your time playing with high school kids. Let's go. Sorry. Sorry, kept you like that. Go on home. Hey, wait! Dojima-san! Did he just apologize for me? We'll see ya. Dojima-san's waiting. Watch Dachi go back to work, then went home. work as a janitor today and I will oh. oh I've been seeing a lot of you today I was gonna go home but I got stuck with OT at the last minute give me a break but well, I'm not investigating you so go home before it's too late
Let's max out all the social links. In an empty hospital room. Psycho asked you to come here. I'm sorry. You're already done with work today, aren't you? I wanted to say goodbye. Goodbye? I'm leaving this hospital today. She looks you straight in the eyes. I grew to hate hospitals. All the life and death, in the end, everyone leaves, leaving me behind. I was lonely. Then I remembered. I remembered that I wanted to help. I became a nurse because I wanted to save people's lives. I couldn't see that it was as simple as that. No, I probably didn't want to see it. Sayako smiles gently. <sighs> and to think the one who sh sh would show me is this kid with a rag in his hand. <laughs> I tend to go for older, rich men, and I landed a child. So, I'm going. Going to find a path I gave up on. I thought I couldn't do it, but I will walk that road. I'm going to be my own guide. Thinking, walking, taking responsibility for myself. Once I've done all that, I think I can finally say that I've truly lived. Will you take this? I give you the person I was when I was here. She looks at you gently. You feel a strong bond. to say this it's much to myself as it is to you what's right what you should choose to do in life the answers to those things lie within you so long okay so go left never looking back you decide to go home you made 80 bucks and never worked at the hospital again Thing to do. Always plant wheat. Come on. Open every chest. Open every chest forever. There's really nothing to do.
No one to hang out with. Received a text message. It's from Kanji. Hello, Senpai. Do you like movies? There's this new movie out called Dachiko Story. And I'm just a sucker for movies about dogs. If you're going to see it, would you let me know so I can come too? Watch the midnight chat. No one is on the screen. I think that's the first time I've ever watched the Midnight Channel unprompted. Like I've ever selected that. I didn't even know for certain that was an option as a thing you could do. Make a mod. The model is not complete, and it won't be. Oh, hello! It's me, Chie! I wish I could see what my other options are first. Sure. Yeah. Let me call the other. Er, let me call the others and see if they want to come too. This should get me some points with some other people too, hopefully. Well, just resay. Croco Fur, you came here on the girl's insistence. Why here? I thought we were going to celebrate saving Naoto. Yeah, we're gonna celebrate with a shopping spree. And you have the honor of carrying our bags. Ugh. <sighs> Senpai, now I need saving. Give it up, Kanji. <laughs> Attaboy, Mitsukun. <laughs> I'm going to buy a lot today. <laughs> Me too, I've got money to burn. Alright, alright. Should have told him I had to watch the house like Yosuke Senpai. I feel your relationship with Rise is gonna come closer soon. You're back. Anything, anything I can do? Hang on. Hang on to hang out with. Actually, something is different. Maria is nowhere to be found. There's another piece of paper on the floor. Something written in a violent handwriting. My list. The hated. People who are all talk. Lying grown ups. Keeping up appearances. Hypocrites. Myself. I hate myself, dumbass. The light. Animals. Only cute ones, though. Like cats. Milk tea. I like lemon, too, though. Black. Blue. Gray, too. Only dark gray. And... Me. Okay. Must be another of Marie's poems. 
Duh! What is this? I told you not to read these. Why do you keep reading them? Are you stupid or something? Idiot. This is just a note. A note. Do you understand? Say it. It's a note. I think you see Margaret's eyes narrow, but only for an instant. You're on the top of my list now. I hate you so much, you lying hypocrite. Just please stop reading these. I would love to, Marie. I would love to honor your wishes, but the game doesn't let me. Ah, it seems you have completed over half of the social links. How wonderful. Your commitment to your social links will become your commitment to the world. I look forward to seeing your world. Get a metal bat! Um... Utilize skill cards. Give skill cards. Register all. Fuse persona. Okay, so... We can get rid of Sun. Devil, Tower, Chariot, and Emperor. Yeah, that'll get work. That'll work. And that's one I don't have. I'm blanking on that one. those, I don't care. I didn't realize you had summoned such a large number of personas. It's my first time seeing this many personas myself as well. It may not be too long before you have added every persona there is into your com personal compendium. Oh, I'd completely forgotten. Take this. Oh. Please strive to complete the Persona Compendium. If you wish for assistance, I would gladly lend my aid. To summon all the various Personas there are in the, these worlds, you of all people may be able to accomplish this. Well then.
Restore, I don't need. Tower, I don't need. Devil, I don't need. Temperance, I have. Death, I have. Hangman, I have. Strength, I have. Fortune, I have. Hermit, I don't need. Justice, I don't need. Chariot, I don't need. Lovers, I need. Um, from Undertale? Tyra Fan, I don't need Emperor. I don't need priestess, I don't need magician, I don't need fool, I don't need! So that's at least fucking something. Reminds me, Halloween is this month. There's been some talk at the end about doing something for it. Though we're a hot springs in, so we can't do anything too extravagant. Do you have any suggestions? Everyone wear costumes. That was pretty good. Ooh, like gag glasses? A special day at the hot springs where everyone's wearing gag glasses. <laughs> Everywhere you look, you can't escape them. Gag glasses, as far as the eye can see. <laughs> she bursts in laughter. You wait until she calms down. I'll take your suggestion into consideration. Thank you so much. When I tell them my ideas, they always get shot down. I don't understand why. Enjoy the chat. Blah, 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 I want blah. you to have this. Serenity cookie. Good night. Alright, we're done talking about blood now. Hey, we still have some time left. So I guess I'll keep talking it again. Speaking of blood, do you know what dragon's blood is? It's nothing like a fantasy mouthful. It's not actually the blood of a dragon. Dragon's blood is a bright red resin taken from a plant called Dracania. It was valued in the old days as an almighty medication, and it actually has the ability to reduce inflama inflammation. The people of old were such romantics to call tree resin dragon's blood. <laughs> I mean, that's cool as hell. I would. Okay. Looks like it's time for one of my social links that I haven't done at all. Either. Let's see if I can do the fox quest. Um, blah 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 blah. You're not the right person. You're out. You have to take a walk in the night. It's nice and day and all, but if you get like a real change of scenery, there's no city lights, all the stores are closed, it's so quiet you can hear the river. You gotta watch your sup, it's so dark, I don't know where your feet are landing. I suppose I could carry a flashlight, but it kind of ruins the atmosphere. If I had a lamp, an eternal lamp, I'll, I'll find you an eternal lamp. I won't find him an eternal lamp. I 
think I have to... It's like... Cat here sometimes. I think. Well, uh, well spoken. Reese is not available, unfortunately. I think I might be able to go much longer. My throat's really starting to feel bad. Huh, you coon, you don't know about Phoenix Ranger Featherman are? You suck! I dare you to say that again! Yuta's gonna get us! Run, everyone! Yuta chases his friends as his face turns red. Once again, the children tug at you from all directions. Yukon, let's go home. It's getting late. Haiko, we're going home! Uh, er, Akio, we're going home! When is he coming back? Huh? You mean your father? Hmm, I don't know yet. I'm going home with Ryuko. <sighs> I guess he wants to see his father. Probably. I mean, even if he goes home, he'll be alone with me, right? <laughs> I'm just a stranger who barged into his life six months ago, so I feel a bit sorry for him. She's smiling wryly. My husband kind of set me up. He told me he wants. He only told me he had a child right before we got married. But I thought he was. But I thought he was the one for me, so I figured the three of us would be able to work it all out. That's a fucked up situation. To, like, spring a kid on someone right before you get married. Then, right after he, we got married, he was sent to China on business. Keeps in contact with me, but doesn't change the fact that he's not here. He's so inconsiderate. Um... Do you love Yuda? Huh? Oh, uh, of course I do. But, you know, there's no way a child can get along with a new mother, right? So it can't be helped. That's nothing. What are you talking about? Maybe I rushed into marriage too quickly. When he told me I wouldn't have to work, I thought it'd be a good idea, but... <laughs> Oh, don't tell my husband, okay? She's smiling, but you can't tell if it's genuine. I feel you understand her a bit. Wonder if you is home by now. I better be going now. It was nice seeing you. Got a hundred buck offs. You're back. Oh, 
Oh, senpai. I was just wondering if you'd come by tonight. This is a surprise. Do you have some time, senpai? Let's talk. You see, it seems bored. She might appreciate it if you talk with her. Because you have Undying Undertale, you should. Really? Yay! I get to spend time with you. She seems happy. Senpai. Remember how we shared an umbrella the other day? <laughs> I thought about that in class later and I couldn't help but smile. I know it's cliche, but I always dreamed about doing something like that. What do you dream about, Senpai? <laughs> you and me behind the bleachers. A love letter in my shoe locker. <laughs> That's so cliched. Come on, this is you we're talking about. That probably happens to you every day. Look at you teasingly. It's strange though, sharing an umbrella isn't that special. It really compares to some of the embarrassing scenes of, in the dramas I've been in. It just feels completely different in real life. Though it, that's to be expected since real life has no script. Enjoyed your idle chat with Risei. Relationship oh. with Risei will grow closer soon. Oh wow, it's this late already? Sorry, I gotta get back. Before I go, give me your hand, senpai. I want you to have it, senpai. Longevity pill? Risei, what are you giving me? Good night, what senpai. You... Risei, what have you just handed me? Alright, great baton work. It's the most important part of a relay. Keep practicing. Doesn't matter how fast you run, if you drop the baton, you lose valuable time. Just keep passing that baton until you reach the anchor. It's fundamental, but difficult. Ah! By the way, the word anchor was originally used in a different track and field sport. Hmm, how about a question for casual? Which of these sports also uses an anchor? Tug of war. You got it. Player supporting the end of the rope was acting as an anchor, so that and was called thus so. Uh, it crossed over into other sports, and so the last runner in a relay is also called that. Pray right, one more time with mixture as the anchor. Ready, go. Nothing to do today. It's the problem with maxing out social links is that then there's nothing to do. It's your shoe locker. There's nothing inside. Blah 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 blah. blah. Sick. Peggy boy. Um, oh, I don't care about those things. I guess I'll just throw the afternoon away. Oh, welcome back. Do 
tutoring job, work from home, read at home, work from home, read at home, tutoring job. Ew. Can't imagine anyone would be outside. Let's see, I haven't bought from the shopping program. Battle suit. Red goldfish. Okay. Um, go to sleep. Dream you were Marie's parent. It was a surreal, awkward dream, but your relationship with Marie has intensified. <laughs> New Terrence is starting on Friday next week. You guys studying hard or hardly studying? Hmm? Right, let's get back to the basics then. Let's look at the world map. Take a note that Japan is the center of the Japanese maps. Other countries center their maps in different places. Where would you find Japan on a map made in a foreign country? Let's see, Amagi-san. No, I'd feel bad about that. So, Hanamura. Why, why would he feel bad at, for asking you to go, but not me? I don't even know what he's talking about. Do you know the answer? The right edge. Oh, you got it. I really believe in you. Really? Yes, in foreign world maps, Japan is placed on the eastern edge. Now you know why they call this part of Asia the Far East. Foreign maps are designed to be centered on the prime meridian at zero degrees of longitude. Oh, I see. Thanks, Mixter. Fucking kidding me. Is this another day of nothing to do? Hate. I'm just gonna keep checking that. As if it's going to change. Okay, so the two people I most need to hang out with are Rise and Marie. Actually, I'd say Marie then Rise. Can't eat it. Thought I'd just uh, blah 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 blah. Looks are always interesting, aren't they? Have you read any picture books? Don't assume that they're just for children. I'm interested in picture books. Let you have one, but it won't be for free. Have you heard of hard boots? I'll look for them. Do I have those? Okay. Um... Ojima residence. Waste the afternoon. And now the weather. 
The week ended on a wet note as rain clouds moved into the area. Oh, this was the last day to save Nata. As a result, a thick fog is expected to form in the Inaba region later tonight. Seems fog will set in tonight. It's midnight. Fog has rolled in. No one is appearing on the midnight chain. Meanwhile, in the foggy shopping district. Damn it! Again? My boy! Are you feeling better now? Yes, thanks to all of you. I'd like to thank you once again for what happened. Don't mention it. But hey, your uniform. Huh? Ah, uh, yes. After contemplating the matter, I went with what I've been wearing thus far. There's no need for you to... Hey, it's the Detective Prince. That's no Prince. I heard he's a she. Huh? Y you serious? If he's a she, then... Uh, oh, crap! Uh, I'm kind of disappointed. But then again, there's something neat about it. Hate it. Yeah, if you look at it a certain way, doesn't she seem pretty cool? She... My, my. Rumors spread so quickly. We're on your side. Thank you. But it doesn't bother me at all. There's no need to worry on my behalf. So please, treat me as you did before. That aside, I'd like to discuss the case with you all. We're dealing with a kidnap and murder case perpetrated by someone lurking in this very town. Nanako. And it isn't over yet. Let's go over the finer points after school. I already know who the murderer is. First, I heard the doorbell ring. But when I opened the front door, I saw no one there. Just as alarm bells sounded in my mind, someone grabbed me roughly from behind and covered my mouth with something. Immediately afterward, I was put into something like a sack and most likely carried on the culprit's shoulder. Wow, how could you remember all that? It seems pretty memorable. The culprit seems to have used a chemical to incapacitate me, but luckily I wasn't completely unconscious. I had been expecting a trick along those lines, so I was somewhat prepared. And of course, I was desperate to gather as much information as I could. No wonder you're an ace detective! That ain't something to be proud of. You are too damn calm about all this. Judging by their actions and body type, I'd say the culprit is definitely a man. I heard no conversations or voices, so I believe he is acting alone. It's after that that things get murky. That's just Nanako's tricks. I felt a single impact which I assume is when I was thrown inside the TV. But the time from kidnapping to that point seemed too short. It was a matter of minutes. So you were immediately thrown inside the TV after being kidnapped? Oh, could there have been a TV on the side of the road? Regrettably, my memory from there on is a blur. I see. I mean, from then on, it's just you were inside the TV, and we know what happened then. But man, the killer came right up to the door and rang the bell? That's just crazy. I finally understand why you all testified that you couldn't recall much of what happened. 
Such a bizarre experience, with mental and physical fatigue on top of it, it's only natural to be confused. And going by the surrounding circumstances, my kidnapping and everyone else's were near identical. There is no question that the culprit is the same in each case. So, that Mitsuo boy who said he killed King Moron... Everything makes sense now. I can't say for sure until I gather more concrete evidence. But Mitsuo Kubo's only victim was Mr. Moraoka. It was a copycat killing that mimicked the true culprit's method. No wonder King Moron's death broke the pattern in so many ways. The question remains, though, as to how Kubo learned of that world. Hmm. <laughs> That's it! That's what was bothering me! Mitsuo could enter the TV, right? Then why didn't he kill King Moron that way? I believe he didn't understand the other world as well as the true culprit. Even though I can now enter it myself, it wouldn't occur to me to use it for murder. That's where you and I differ, Naoto. Everything I learn, I think, how can I use this for murder? And remember, the previous corpses left no sign that their deaths had anything to do with the other world. After Kubo became wanted, leaving him with nowhere to run, he probably thought for the first time, what if I put my entire body into the TV? The bizarre condition of the corpses that caused such commotion is probably because they died on the other side. Yeah, It's probs. a simpler explanation than figuring out why the killer would risk disposing of the bodies in such a way which means their inexplicable condition of being hung on a foggy day wasn't due to the culprit making a statement. Much of our speculation could be tested if we could ask Kubo in person. However, I've unfortunately been taken off the investigation. rip -a -roo. And I highly doubt that the police will believe any of this. We could demonstrate. They wouldn't admit that it wasn't Mitsuo in the first place. Once you've said something on TV, it's not easy to admit you were wrong. I believe the primary cause of my dismissal was because I raised that possibility to them. Yeah, probs. The police won't readily concede that they made false charges. All the more so if the accused is a juvenile. Hmm. In fact, the overwhelming sentiment with the police force is to end this case with his arrest. Hmm. Even if it's possible there's another killer? Those dickheads. I had a feeling that would be the case. Not that I trusted him in the first place. Good, good thinking, Kanji. Hey, Cap. But, uh, Naoto, if you were that calm when it happened to you, couldn't you have, you know... I'm not saying you should have caught him, but isn't it kind of sad for an ace detective to go down that easily? I mean, he's still, like, 14. Um... She's still a child. Um, to tell you the truth, I was really scared. I I'm sorry. It can't be helped. Yosuke, None I'd of like us could resist the culprit either. Don't forget, Naoto-kun is younger than us, and she's a girl. He's a boy, and gender has nothing to do with this, Yukiko. Oh yeah, that's true. I keep forgetting when I see her talking like this. God, I hate that. You know, Naoto? What is it? You got balls. For a girl. Shut up, Yosuke. Regardless, I have no doubt that the culprit will continue with his attacks. We can only watch and wait for him to make the next move. But this is no longer a mere job or someone else's affair. I want to know the truth of why we were targeted. Please allow me to join your effort. Yeah, Ops. Thank you very much. I'll do my best, leader. Not to join the group. He'll definitely be a strong asset. Since I'm the king of the geniuses, I knew it would work out this way. Ta-da! Now Chan's glasses! Thank you. They told me about you, Teddy. 
I can sympathize with your drive to find yourself. If I may help in any way, let me know. Wow! What a nice girl! Guy. Culprit is still at large. I'll have to wait for them to make the next move. Okay, um, that seems like a good place to call it for the day. Because, again, my throat is feeling bad, so I don't want to do voices anymore. Um, so thank you for watching, y'all. I love you very much. I'll see you next time. Remember, Black Lives Matter, defund the police. Bye-bye!